We're here at Lowe's. We're getting these one and a half inch thingies for the framing on the whole schoolie. And uh, yeah, we're getting 15 of these bad boys. All right, guys, so we have wood here is uh, one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, since this one's a little bent, we we'll need to actually hold it in place for us to screw it into the uh, metal right here. We're just gonna use a clamp. Like that real quick. I'm gonna use double clamp just to be safe. And then what we gotta do is drill a hole through and put one of these nails in there and hopefully it'll stay. Okay, got that one in. And Got those two pieces in. I think they look pretty good. This one right here is kind of tacky. Um, it's actually the little lip down down here that's a little crooked and it's not letting me like put it like good in there. But it doesn't really worry me because the bed is gonna be over here and then we're gonna have a wall right here, so it's really not gonna be visible. And then over here, over here was perfect. And uh, same thing with here. Well, over here, we're gonna have the shower. And uh, we haven't figured that part yet, but um, I don't know, it looks good right there. All right, just one piece missing for that step right there. And I'm about to cut it right here. And that was, that's it for that part. Cause then we need to do another one of these up here and also down on the floor so that when we have our walls we can like uh, screw it all into this dog which is attached to the whole bus structure uh, to make it stronger and yeah that's how it looks so far all right we are uh, i'm gonna try to finish the lower part of the frame for the lower walls today uh, we already have a uh, one uh, layer or yeah all these little sticks right here and now these little helpers are gonna help us put this one up here and uh, later we're gonna put uh, some like this so that we can put insulation right in the middle and uh, keep building the walls now you guys have to hold this down up here yeah i need to turn around so you can see what you're doing okay this needs to be flush with this okay so you're gonna hold it right there while I drill holes in. Okay. And I'm gonna drill the first holes right here, okay? Okay. Alright. Might be loud. Might be slow.
Kiss, thank you, baby. Oh, yeah. They're going in for a little bit. There we go. Woo! Okay, you guys are good. Thank you so much for the help. Okay, we're going to eat some dogs. Bye, we'll see you soon. Oh, so dirty. Bye, we'll see you soon. All right, so we already put this all around the bus and this layer all around the bus too. Now we're going to get to um, put this ones in the end right here. And then we're going to do in the middle right here to support like each other right there. And uh, yeah, I want to cut it to where I have to hammer it down for it to fit there and then uh, nail it in. And uh, I think that'd be pretty sturdy. And then uh, uh, tomorrow or one of these days, we're going to go buy thick insulation, put it right here in between and then cover it up with a piece of uh, wood for uh, decorate the walls and then we'll paint over it and then we'll do the upper side of the wall. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing uh, this holes, not in the middle, but a little bit to the side is because I want to avoid this thick freaking frame because it's so hard to uh, drip with this thing. And um, yeah, I just wanna avoid the pain in the butt and then drill the holes right here, put the screw, and then I wanna put another screw going like that so it can hold it down. like that eco friendly and everything so yeah kind of look like a rat nest in here but yeah this at least is it's like gonna be like well plastic there's like plastic pieces really yeah look at that oh yeah that's cool Show the outfit, Drew. Show the outfit. Do your turn. Do it tired? Play. Yeah. Move your butt. <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> Do wrist thing. All right, so all the beams are done. The whole uh, lower wall structure is done. But uh, when it comes to over here, we wanted to make these windows look pretty and have this like trim all around it. But uh, we can't do this because if we do it like that and if we put another nice piece of wood in here, yeah, it will look good and everything. But when it comes up here, you won't be able to open the window because of this little groove right there. So that's her first problem. And then I came out, uh, I was looking up for how people were doing their walls and stuff like that. And there was this video from uh, Bussy McBuckface that did this a little lower so that when you put this nice piece of wood right there it will just 
go against the wall and then you can put an, a flat piece of wood and just cover this up so no uh, you don't lose your pencil or anything like that and uh, I was like well shit now I have to cut all right here and right there all around the windows make it a little lower so that this can fit like that and we don't have that problem anymore we can easily put all this around the window and this window will continue to open and close like we want it to so let's go ahead and do that all right so i'm not the best at explaining and sorry for the light up here but basically what i'm going to do is i mark these lines i'm going to cut right here and i have another line back there and i'm going to cut right here and lower this beam down so i don't have to lower the whole entire thing down i'm just going to do it where the windows are so this can fit like that yeah let's do that that's all we have for this week's video next week we'll be showing you how we did our window frames don't forget to like and subscribe